Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how quickly you can make a data visualization with maps using Tableau. So the version of Tableau I'm using here is Tableau Public, which is fine because the data set I'm going to be importing or rather connecting to is going to be a CSV format. So CSV of course is a, a type of text file. So once I open up Tableau Public, I choose my source to connect to a text file. So if you have your uh, data in a uh, Excel file or whatever kind of file, just make sure to choose that. My data set is actually called state. I've called it state. What it is, uh, you'll see in a moment once we connect to it, is uh, the 50 states of the United States and some interesting um, facts about each state. And I think this was circa 1970, somewhere around there. So these numbers are a little uh, different than today, obviously. So we see, uh, we get a little preview. There was only one worksheet. Of course, this is a CSV file. So actually, th there is no discussing uh, importing a particular worksheet. But uh, here we see we have the state in the first column. Then we have population income illiteracy, life expectancy, murder rate, high school graduation rate, frost, and area. Okay, so if we pay closer attention here, it'll pay off later. So first off, we see that uh, most of these, in fact, almost all but one are numbers, population income. All these that we describe are numbers. Some of them have decimals, some of them don't. But as we can see from the data, uh, Tableau correctly uh, imported them as numbered fields. Uh, as uh, the first column, however, is imported as a text field, and this is where I have my state names. Now, this is very important. I could leave this as is if I was not interested in making some kind of map-based visualization. But since I am, it's very important for me at this point to change the type of variable that this is or field that this is from the string which it's been imported as which is typically uh, uh, how text will be imported to a geographic role as you can see I have that choice down here and geographic role I get a few choices I have zip codes cities countries and states and provinces so there's an internal database that actually will cross-reference my data and map the longitude and latitude of each of these states to create these maps that we're about to create. Okay, so before that can actually work, I need to make sure I change this from a plain old text field to a geographic role. Specifically, I'm going to choose state. If this is not showing up on your screen, I apologize. Uh, let me see if I can scroll up here just so you can see this uh, here we go so you see geographic role state why state well first off notice I get this kind of global icon here so that's a geographic dimension now why state because I know my data was states by that's how granular I had it if you had zip codes uh, or uh, if you just, if you had something more broad like countries, make sure you choose the appropriate one. Let me also rename my data set here. Uh, sorry, my dimension uh, to just state. Okay, and now everything else kind of looks good. Of course, you know you can sort things here alphabetically or from us descending and ascending, uh, but. What's more interesting is the visualizations that we're going to create. But once we've kind of made this correction here, we can go ahead to our worksheet and we can very quickly make a pretty cool visualization. So let this worksheet load and now we have a blank slate and you can see already that there are some options for mapped uh, visualizations. So what we're going to do is take the state and just throw it into uh, honestly into the rows or columns it does not really matter because what we're going to do is immediately choose one of these visualizations up here 
And what it's going to do is it's going to convert each of those states to longitude and latitude data, which then gets traced to these fine visualizations. Okay, so Alaska gets traced to a, a ton, I should tell you, a ton of longitude and lat latitudinal points, which get connected and create these perfect, uh, almost, well, as perfect as you need it, um, state boundaries. Okay, now that's great, but now we can start adding some of the measures that we have here to this graph, to this visualization. So I'm going to go with population because we all kind of have an idea of uh, which states are the most populated and which are the least. So let's kind of actually see if it turns out the way we expect it. So I'm going to grab population. Don't. And I'm going to throw it. I have some choices here. I could throw it onto color. And we can play around and see what happens. Now, the legend will be very useful, obviously, at this point. Uh, because we're getting a gradation because population is a measure. Uh, we can take the sum and we can convert it to average, median, whatever we want. I'm going to leave it as sum. I could take population and throw it into size. With this particular type of visualization, it's not going to make a difference. But if I switch to the other kind of map that we have available, you'll see that this, this type generates a point, a mark, for the measure. And so the size of that uh, dot is relative to the sum of population. Um, if I throw population onto label, I'll also get the actual um, number, the actual data point as well, which if, if you try to squeeze too much, sometimes you, you, know, you might want to think about whether that's appropriate or not. In this case, I think if I can exclude Alaska, I'll be able to see the contiguous 48 states a little better. And how would I do that? Well, well let's do that as well. I, click, I could click on this point, I could say exclude. And I click on Hawaii and exclude Hawaii. And then at least uh, our 48 states are going to be a lot more uh, visible. Let me actually now zoom back out. OK, so things look a lot nicer now, I think. Uh, of course, we did exclude the, the Hawaii and Alaska. Uh, so we did make a sacrifice here. Um, now, let's throw population on size. OK, and let's take population from here and throw it on label. So now we'll have both of these. OK, and if I can zoom and play around with the zooming a little bit, I can see that uh, I'm starting to get a visualization that might be interesting. OK, uh, now so you could play around with that. Maybe we're trying to pack too much. And of course, if you hover over any of these, you get some previews. Um, maybe we're trying to grab too much. OK, but one thing uh, you can play around with is you can actually choose the type of mark. So we have it uh, automatically se selected to circle, but if you like squares, if you like to play around, some of these other ones don't make too much sense, but you can actually build these to be much more rich than what we're doing here. I wanted to give you a, a quick preview of how quickly you can make one of these, these mapped data visualizations, okay? Um, Okay, so we see this variety. Let me go back to the original one that we were looking at. So this one, as you can see, has the uh, has a more gradation. Uh, so the colors, as soon as we make the dashboard, we'll see the uh, legend and we'll be able to tell exactly what uh, the darker blues mean. Obviously, you can tell the darker blues like New York and California are the most populous states uh, in the Union. And some of the lighter colors, like Maine, uh, are the least uh, among the least populated. Um, let's see. Let's play around a little more. I can get these values. This, this to me, this personally looks better. So I might just go with this. Let's say I'm satisfied with this, and now I can go ahead to uh, creating a dashboard. So I'm going to go to new dashboard at the bottom, right? So this is new worksheet, new dashboard. So I'm going to click new dashboard. I'm going to throw my sheet that I just created onto this dashboard. Here's my little legend here. 
So I got my I got my map and my legend here. So as you can see, the darker blues indicate higher population in those respective states, lighter a lower population and maybe having the actual numbers there is not necessary anymore maybe it's a little confusing maybe it's a little too much information and it's getting messy so these are decisions that we can make and, and tweak but what I wanted to show you here is how quick and easy it was to make one of these data visualizations in Tableau public okay in case I do want to remove some of these I could go back to my sheet as maybe a last step and remove the sum from the labels then go back to my dashboard and the update should appear so this looks a lot better maybe I'm happy with this and I'm starting to build up my dashboard maybe I'll have some other charts on my dashboard and together it'll be a super cool dashboard for visualizing the population distribution of uh, the contiguous 48 states of the United States all right. So I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe, like, share, and until next time, have a great day.